What's up YouTube? I'm hanging out here with Maximilian and we're here for a very special edition of Toy Quest. The show where we explore attics, basements, garages, flea markets, any place where we can find for that elusive holy grail toy. Well today we have something a little bit different. It's not vintage. I know I usually cover vintage but this one is really near and dear to my heart. So let's check it out. That's right, we have the Black Hole Diamond Select action figures today. Uh, these are available at Walgreens, and they're really, really hard to find. But I managed to snag a couple. Uh, we have Vincent, the hero robot. Very cool. And the one, the only, my buddy right here, Maximilian. So we're going to open these up, and we're going to check them out. But first, you know, me and Max here... We had, we had some really great times, didn't we, buddy? So, why don't we watch some of those? You know, me and Max, we're, we actually became really good friends over all this. So, let's check that out. When we come back, we're going to open these up. Ah, oh, these things are dull. What am I going to do? Oh. Thanks, Max. Isn't this guy great or what? I mean, we're, we're such good friends. But a little bit about the Black Hole, in case you don't know. It was a Walt Disney film that came out in 1979. It, was st it starred Maximilian Schell. It had an all-star cast. It was a great movie put out by Disney. Uh, starring Maximilian Schell, um, Yvette Mimieux, um, who is just so sexy and... Anyways, let's move. Ernest Borgnine, uh, Anthony Perkins from Psycho fame, uh, Robert Forster, Jeremy Bottoms, um, Slim Pickens did the voice of Old Bob, uh, the other hero counterpart to, uh, to Vincent over here, and uh, Roddy McDowell, who actually did the voice of, uh, of this, guy's, this guy's enemy right here. Isn't that right? Yeah. So, and of course the movie came out to... Uh, you yeah, know, not very good uh, critical acclaim. Uh, I wouldn't say it was a flop, but it didn't do very well at the box office. So, you know, it came out at the time of uh, when at the height of Star Wars' popularity, but I think it's more akin to uh, to 2001 A Space Odyssey, uh, maybe Star Trek The Motion Picture. It was kind of more of the hard sci-fi genre than space opera which I think a lot of people were clamoring for at the time, was the action-packed um, uh, popcorn movie space opera, which Star Wars was, of course. And, uh, of course, this movie, with its kind of slow pacing, was kind of a slow burn. Uh, the ending was uh, very, very esoteric. Uh, check it out if you haven't seen this movie yet. It's actually on uh, Disney Plus right now. So, so if you have that, go check it out. It's a, it's a good watch. Um, but yeah, uh, there was a huge marketing campaign for it, though. Uh, lots of merchandising. Um, I have a set of original action figures. This is one of the original Mego figures. This is Vincent. And, uh, of course, Maximilian. Uh, they had lunch boxes, uh, books. We have one of the books right here. Check that out. And uh, we have an advertising button, which I just dropped. Let Max entertain you for a second. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Max. Uh, we have uh, buttons. They had lunch boxes, uh, bed sheets. I know because I was the, the fat little nerdy kid who had all this stuff as a kid, but I loved it. And a lot of people loved the movie, and it has garnered a cult following in the later years and all the way up to today. Which brings me to these Diamond Select figures. And I love anything new that comes out of the black hole. And these are just great. I, I, I just love this, that there is still merchandise to this day for this iconic sci-fi masterpiece, Disney's The Black Hole. So let's open these up and see what we got. What do you say? You know, what's that? What's that? You want to show them more of our day together? Let's check that out. Fat guy making a cake. Fat guy making a cake. Man, my arms are tired. Thanks, Max. Fat guys making 
Making a cake! Okay, I know I'm committing a blasphemy here by opening these uh, figures, but you know what? Uh, the boxes were not that great a condition uh, when I found them at Walgreens. As you can see, it's kind of bent a little bit, so you know what? I don't mind. And besides, you only live once. Toys are meant to be played with. I don't care what anyone says. So here we go. Here's Vincent, our hero robot. Okay, he comes with a lot of accessories, it looks like. Okay, for tape on him, we get my blade. And there we go. Okay. So, turn this tray around. Okay, he has different uh, feet you can put on him, it looks like. Here's his base. Um, on this tray, looks like he has different inserts, uh, his little claws, different uh, items. So here we go, let's take Vincent out. He really is really light. Paint job looks good. His head, okay, there we go. His head shouldn't be... Okay. Let's pull that out. There we go, there we are. Okay, there we go. It's actually really lightweight. Really well detailed. I don't remember him having that button, the red button on his head. I, I think that's a little inaccurate. Um, but there's, there's Vincent. How cool is he? Look at that. Very cute. Very, very nice toy. And now uh, you can, looks like you can swap his feet out. That just pulls off. Put the new one on. This is how he, his normal mode, I guess. Oh, there we go. As Vincent does, we know and love him. And his standout. That's this hooks right here. Okay, let's put this in there like that. Let's put this over here. And stuff is falling apart already. And whoa, there you are. And he does not, look at that. Maybe I'm not doing this correctly. Maybe this needs to go. Okay, the stand is a piece of junk. It obviously doesn't hold him. Moving right along. Very cool toy though. Now we're gonna look at this guy. What's that, Max? You wanna see one more? Okay, let's check out one more video of our day out together and then we'll come back and we'll open up Maximilian. What do you say? Oh, stupid electric razor. The battery just died. Now how am I going to shave? Oh my god. Thanks, Max. Okay, so let's open Max. Okay. And like I said before, these are available at Walgreens. You can get them for just under $20 each. And Vincent was really cool. Okay, Maximilian. Wow, this is impressive. Okay, he's got a nice... Kind of a nice weight to him. He's a little bit heavier than Vincent, still light, nice and light. His legs are articulated, his little leg fins move. Um, his arms, his little blades come out, very cool. Uh, the paint job is really nice, he's got nice weathering. Let's turn him around. Um, okay, his head does not move, it's a little disappointing. Would have thought his head would move. Here's the stand. Let's hope this one's nicer than Vincent's. Okay, looks like this goes in here. There we go. And this part goes up Max's little tailpipe. And there we go. There's Maximilian and Vincent. Uh, wonderful display pieces. Um, so yeah, head down to your local Walgreens. Pick these up right now. I highly recommend them. 
Um, they're, they're just really, really cool toys. <laughs> Once again, a great time was had by all. So, in closing, I would give these a... Uh, Maximilian, I would give a... 9 out of 10, just because I think its proportions are a little off. But, overall, great quality, awesome toy. Vincent, my favorite little robot. Um, just because of the nature of the stand... I mean, I still highly recommend him. I mean, he's an iconic robot, extremely cute as well. Um, I gotta give him an, an, eight, an 8 out of 10. Um, I'd still highly recommend it. Again, maybe I put the stand together wrong. Let me know in the comments. But, you definitely want to add these to your Black Hole collection or a sci-fi collection. These make an awesome display piece. Isn't that right, Max? Well, thanks for tuning in, everyone. Um, oh, before we go, let me know in the comments down below um, what you thought of the black hole. or uh, And I will give you, or any of these uh, figures, if you have these original Mego figures, if you remember um, anything from the black hole, let me know. Let me know your uh, cool memories, because I know I have a whole bunch. And uh, I'll send you this uh, 1979 Walt Disney black hole promo button from the release of the movie. So, yeah, just let me know in the comments. Drop me a line. It's important you email me. Um, it's in the description, my email address, and I'll flash it across the screen because that, that way I know that you've entered the contest. So, get a hold of me, let me know, and I'll uh, get this straight to you. So, once again, thanks for watching. Uh, drop me a comment. Uh, make sure you drop me a like. Um, and make sure you subscribe because that's what keeps me going. That makes YouTube stand up and notice my show. So once again, this has been uh, Toy Quest, and uh, I hope this was somewhat educational for you. Thanks again for watching, and take care. Good night. Ah, uh, we had a great day, didn't we, Max? Well, have a good night, and we'll do more cool stuff tomorrow. <laughs>